Melanie Bookshe and on this channel I travel the world via books meaning I read one book from every country in the world and today I'm paying a visit to Argentina. So the um, book I use for Argentina is called Things We Lost in the Fire by Mariana um, Enriquez and um, it is a collection of horror short stories all ranging from like really supernatural to uh, more grotesque or uh, real life things such as really um, graphic self-harm so if that triggers you in any way I definitely recommend not reading this book because um, a few stories do go into like self-harming and um, all those graphic details and um, but overall aside from that it, it was a thoroughly enjoyable um, collection of short stories as someone who went through a huge horror phase like around like a few years ago I definitely enjoyed revisiting the genre and just being absolutely on the tip of my toes and um, continuously being scared. So um, in this review, I'll be going over a few of my favorite short stories from the collection, uh, starting with um, Adela's House. So Adela's House follows the friendship between this um, this pair of siblings, one sister and one um, brother, um, and their um, and this girl in their neighborhood named Adela, who is belonging to a very affluent family. Um, but moreover, the reason that the kids are fascinated and fascinated her is because she is missing one arm and therefore she's kind of isolated by their other peers and um, it's kind of one of the reasons that the main siblings um, choose to kind of include her in um, their friend group. So um, a few years after they befriend each other, I think, um, the brother and Adela um, start having um, this new fascination with horror, the horror genre. And when they find out that a nearby house um, is actually um, a haunted house, they become very fascinated with the house as well. And the story basically explores um, how they get closer to the house and learn more about its supernatural-esque mysteries. And it reminded me a lot, a lot of um, The Haunting of Hill House. And so if you enjoyed that um, series, I would definitely recommend checking out Adela's house. It was, in my opinion, the best short story in the collection because I... It was the only short story that didn't suffer from what like the premature endings that most of the other stories had meaning um a lot of stories started ending when it's like when it seemed to be like getting to the climax or like at least a satisfying conclusion but most of the stories ended before that but Adela's house managed to not do that therefore being one of um the best short horror short stories I've ever read the next short story I, I want to focus on is um an Invocation of the Big-Eared Runt. Um, this basically follows uh, a, pr a protagonist who gives these tour guides in Buenos Aires, if I'm not mistaken, and his most popular tour is this murder mystery tour or where basically he goes around the um, city um, showing sites and um, significant places of some of the major murders that occurred there. And um, one day he starts seeing the ghost of, a, of one of the child killers he um, talks about on his tour. I thought this was a um, really interesting concept and I definitely loved the execution as well. It was um, it was very dark like the, like when we learn more details about the killer who start was haunt, who's haunting the protagonist. but I enjoyed that. I enjoyed the crazy killers and therefore I'd give this short story a pretty high rating because it was fun. but I do think the ending could have been better, but that's like a problem that the most of the stories suffer with so it won't be. I'm nitpicking on that for every single story. So next I'll be going into the end of term and this story basically follows uh, Marcella who's this very normal, normal, like boring, quiet girl in class, you know, um, just an average girl. But one day she starts um, self-harming herself in front of her classmates in these very um, grotesque ways and that starts getting everyone kind of fascinated with her specifically the protagonist who is who, who through who uh, through whose eyes we're seeing the story and um it's a very dark and it's probably the darkest story of them all like not counting for the very last story and overall i was very disturbed by it i was like oh my i was um it was i was it was just scary and what separated from most of the other stories it was that was that it was so it was so real like there was no ghost un until like the very end there was no like really 
far off supernatural element, but it was still one of the most disturbing stories in the collection, and I, and I would give a lot of props to the author for managing to do that. So in conclusion, um, Things We Lost in the Fire is a collection of horror short stories ranging from supernatural to pretty real, but they all manage to scare the reader. They're um, fast paced and fun, but most of them suffer from these premature endings. So overall, I would give this collection around a uh, four out of five stars and definitely recommend um, anyone who's looking for a fun time. But um, tip, I'll recommend um, reading one or two stories then like stopping and reading something else because if it wasn't for this video i probably would have done that because i think reading all of them at once can be a bit much but um overall yeah it was a good book and i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did hit like hit subscribe and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss another stop on my literary world tour bye guys